for my first video, I'm going to be reading to you a children's Bible. In the beginning, there was a dark nothing. Then God spoke, let there be light. And there was a golden sun shone from the sky over the land and sea. Let there be plants, said God. Leaves everywhere, of every kind unfolded. The flowers grew bright and beautiful. There was such a rich harvest of fruit and seeds. Let there be living creatures, said God. Then fish swam in the sea, and birds flew in the air. On land, the animals came creeping and leaping, dancing and prancing. And God made people to take care of everything and enjoy the whole wide world. The man and the woman were Adam and Eve. God often came and talked with them, as friends do. I have planted you a garden, said God. You may eat the fruit of every tree that is here, except for one. If you pluck the forbidden fruit and taste it, you will spoil everything. But Eve was tempted to try it, and Adam too. God could not let them stay in the garden. They were sent out into the world beyond. There they had to work among thorns and thistles for everything they needed. The God who had been their friend seemed very Years passed, and people grew wicked, all except for Noah. Build me an ark, said God to Noah. Take on board your family, and two of every kind of animal. I'm going to send a flood. Noah obeyed. Then God sent the rain, and the ark floated on the flood. In all the world, only Noah and his ark. After many days, the flood went down. Now you must begin the world again, said God. You and your family and all the animals. The rainbow tells of my promise. And I will never send a flood like that again. There will be a summer and winter, seed time, and harvest forever. Abraham sat and wondered about God. Years ago, God told me to come and make my home in Canaan. Canaan. He said to himself, Years ago, God promised Sarah and I would have a son, and that our children's children would be as many as the stars. But we have no son, and no one to live in the land after us. Then at last, God's promise came true. Abraham and Sarah had a son, Isaac. The name means he is a joy and a blessing to us, said Abraham. God also told me that our family will be a blessing to the world. And that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear back from all of you 
any requests, any stories, ideas, because of course, this is my first video and I would love to cater to all of you in the best of my ability. Again, thank you for visiting my channel and I do hope you do come again. Subscribe. Thank you.